Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Carmageddon Max Damage running on Intel HD620 graphics. This is on a Core i3-7100U, and we're on the default, setting game, uh, default settings the game picked, which is 1366 by 768 and the medium or balanced detail preset. And performance, okay, not stunning. We're looking around 20 to 30 frames per second typically, sometimes a little higher, sometimes a little lower. Um, but it was reasonably playable with these settings. Um, you may struggle if you're sort of going for all-out precision at times. Um, but I was able to get through this first event and the sort of tutorial and so on uh, and didn't really have any problems doing so. Uh, it's good fun this game as well. I mean, it's more or less a remake of the original Carmageddon with newer graphics and uh, physics engine and all the rest. Um, big fan of Carmageddon back in the day, so great to see this out. And it's nice to see that it is playable on this HD 620 graphics. Um, I did try it very briefly on the, uh, not the full performance mode, but the sort of uh, slightly high performance it did give a slight frame rate improvement, but not massive. So um, I'd probably opt just to go on this medium preset just because it looks a bit nicer. Uh, if you do want to go for better um, frame rates, then you do have the option. You've got two lower notches than this um, for overall graphical quality. And then also the option to say drop down to 720p, just reducing the resolution slightly. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see more from us in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We've got plenty more videos we're sure you'll enjoy as well, looking at gaming on other platforms. And support us on Patreon if you want to have your say on what we test in the future. Thanks for watching.